Hey, Brenton here. If you're a runner or a triathlete and you like the way that I teach swimming here on this channel, I think you'll enjoy the way that Paul McKinnon, the balance runner, coaches running. He's a friend of mine based in Melbourne as well. And the way that he teaches running is very much cue based or using trigger words and he explains things in a way where it's easy to implement and make these small adjustments to your run technique. So I wanted to share a very short video of Paul talking about how to hold your arms and your hands when you're running. And you'll likely notice there's a fair crossover with swimming and running with a lot of these points as well. But I wanted to share this video with you because I know many of you watching are swimmers, uh, are runners and triathletes. So you are running quite a bit and there is a similar sort of coaching style and philosophy for running. And I think Paul's the best example of that. So I'll share this video with you. Now, if you do enjoy Paul's coaching, I'll put a link below where you can get 25% off uh, Paul's coaching program for the first month there or the first year. So you can use the code effortless. I'll put it below. I hope you enjoy this video. Hi, I'm Paul from The Balanced Runner. Uh, this week, we're gonna focus on our hand position or wrist position, very, very similar. Now, for the first week, you've had a bit of a self-awareness about what you were doing and how you were doing it when you were running. And now we're gonna give a little bit of a tip to start to change and, and create some focus on certain parts of the body. And this week, as we said, is hands and wrists. Now, if you felt like you were actually moving quite a lot through the hands and wrists or flicking, and some people kind of go up and down or around, what we want to start to do is what, what is better? What will help? So what I want you to do is start to get an understanding of, okay, when I'm holding my palms up, how do I feel? And then what I want you to do is start to actually roll those over. And what you'll start to see is your elbows start to come out. So something as simple as where you are and the angle you are holding your wrists will influence and affect your arm and your arm swing. So what I want you to think about is, firstly, you always want your wrists and your hands in line with your forearms. So you don't want movement through those wrists, you just want them nice and straight and in line. The palm is a really good indicator as to where you can think. And what that means is, if you can always have your palm pointing to or faced towards your chest and sternum at all points of your run, what that will look like is it is pointing towards it, it is pointing towards it, it is pointing towards it. So you can see that palm is actually directly facing or pointing to your chest at all times. If you close over, you can see the palm is not directed and pointing to the chest. If it's too open, it's more towards the face and the chin. Okay, what we want to do is actually have that in line and facing towards the chest at all times. This will make it nice and easy and or easier to swing in line with your shoulder, but it'll also allow you to be nice and relaxed. Now, the last thing about the hands is, I get a lot of questions about how do I hold my hands, how much tension, how loose. Now, we don't want to think about loose and floppy, but what we do want to think about is no tension. The easiest way I get you to think about it is if you think about a, a glass or a cup. Best thing is I think about is, and sorry for this, is a champagne glass, a champagne flute. What you want to try and do is actually put that into your hand where the stem is at the bottom two fingers and the bottom of that flute is in the top two. So it's actually quite relaxed. All right, and you are just cradling that stem or that glass in your hand. Now, as you hold that glass and stem in your hand, you will never drop or spill, which is really important, any of your drink. So the palm is facing the chest, the glass is sitting in your hand and you're swinging up and back, forward and up. That's this week's tip. Can't wait till next week.